Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Nerd tutorial. Today we're going to be installing Subsonic Music Streaming Service onto an Ubuntu desktop server. Subsonic is a media streaming service that primarily deals with music media but can also stream video. Just scrolling down the page we see some pictures, we see some features, as well as some more information about how it works as well as a demo. If we go ahead and go to the features, there's quite a long list of features for us to see, including its ease of use, its variable different media formats, uh, there are also different apps that go with it. So there's quite a bit of features that go well with Subsonic that makes it so that it is a very simple and easy to use media interface. Now one of the things about some of these things such as its ability to uh, have apps for Android and iOS is that there is also a premium feature as well as the free features. So if I click on premium in the heading it will show what you get for paying $1 a month. So if you think about that, that's $12 for a year. This is where you get the option to have the Android and iPhone and Windows phone apps, where it can stream from your home server to your app, wherever it is connected to data. This also allows you to set up a subdomain from Subsonic so that it's easier to access your server as well. Now, whether or not you choose to have this premium feature or not, that's really up to you. There is a download option in the header as well, but I also want to note in the home, there's a download just at the center of the screen. So we go ahead and click that. We're running Ubuntu, so we can click on the download, but I'm going to first open the instructions in a new tab. Then go ahead and download the Subsonic file. It's going to go to SoundForge and then do its downloading from there. It is about a 50 megabyte file, so it will take a little bit, but hopefully not too long. Once the, it starts to download uh, here, we just need to go ahead and save the file. It's going to save to the downloads folder, and then we'll be good to go for the installation file. Now, if we go ahead and go into the instructions, it does also give instructions that we need to install Java first. Now, it does give in bold the instructions of how to install Subsonic and Java from terminal. So all you would have to do would be open up the terminal command line and then type in those bold lines. Or if you're using Ubuntu server to just copy and paste those into the command line as well. And that'll work just fine. However, because we are also in Ubuntu desktop, we'll show an alternative way with the Ubuntu Software Center that can allow us to install Subsonic without having to type in any commands into terminal. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the Ubuntu Software Center. And once that loads, what we're going to be searching for in the Ubuntu Software Center is going to be Java. When we search for Java, what one of the first search results will be is going to be Java 7. And that's the one that we are going to install. So we just go to the search field in the top right corner, we type in Java, and then from there we're going to see Open JDK Java 7 Runtime. We can just click on that, and then there is going to be Install on the far right. We go ahead and click on that, it's going to then ask for our administrator password, which we can go ahead and type in. And then it's going to take its time to do the install of Java. So now that that's finished, we can then open up File Explorer. And in File Explorer, what we're looking for is we want to go to our downloads. We can then go ahead and click on the subsonic.deb. So we'll double click it, it will launch, and you'll notice in the Ubuntu Software Center, it has changed so that we can now install from the Ubuntu Software Center. We're gonna go ahead and hit install. It's going to first have a pop-up, and that pop-up is going to warn us about some of the information of that package. And in that package, it will say that it might be bad quality, but in reality, this pop-up is just saying that it does have a little bit more for online streaming. So we can go ahead and ignore and install. 
It's then going to ask for our uh, administrative password. Once again, we click on it, we authenticate, and once again, it's going to go ahead and install that software. We're now done with our installation process, so we can go ahead and close the Ubuntu Software Center. We can close our file explorer, and then we can even close our instructions. I do want to point out that it does say we can go to localhost and the port is 4040. However, if you've seen our video on creating a dynamic DNS web page, you can use that as well, which is what we're going to use right now. So you can click on the annotation on your screen or check out our website to see instructions to create your own dynamic DNS web address. And then once you're there, it's going to give red text at the bottom that says that Subsonic is not secured. We want to first go ahead and change the admin password. So we can just go ahead and either type in admin and leave a blank or click the here, which is what I'm going to do. And then it's going to log us in. And the first thing we want to do is change the administration password. So we'll go ahead and click on change administrator password. And from there, all we have to do is then click on change password and then go ahead and add the password for this account. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it in and go ahead and confirm. You can even also put in an email so that if your server is set up with uh, an email, then it will be able to send you an email in case you forget your password. So go ahead, do all that. It's going to kick us out. We are now going to have to log in with the admin username and our password we just created. And now we can move on to the next step to set up media folders. Here in the media folders, we can then add media folders that are in our Ubuntu server. We can just first title it. So I'm going to go ahead and title it Mike's Music. And then it's going to ask for a folder location. You may have to check the folder location in the file explorer to get the correct folder location. But it's going to probably be something like forward slash home, forward slash your username, and then forward slash music. Once that's all set up, it is going to update with all the music that is in that location. There's also a scan media in folders, which I just clicked just in case. But now if I go to home, I will be able to see the song albums that are in the folder that I just added. So once it goes and finishes, we can see we have two folders and I can play them directly from the web browser, or I can now link our subsonic to a particular app. Now you will also notice that here's all the music, so I can choose them, I can create playlists, and I can be able to enqueue them for playing. On the right side, you will see that there is the trial, and once that trial expires, all the subsonic premium features will go away. Then you will have to start paying for those additional features like having the Android or Apple apps, or being able to stream video. So I especially like this just because then I can separate what I would have on my server for audio, what I'd have for video, and what I have for images. Hi everyone, thanks again for watching this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any additional questions or comments. Furthermore, check out some of our related videos or find us in our social media. If you would like email notifications of whenever we release new video or written tutorials, you can go to our webpage technerdservices.com and sign up for our weekly newsletter. We will send to your inbox notifications of those new video and tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, keep teching on.